welcome to episode 100 of Madhouse Militia Presents, Cooking Beef with Warm Whistles. We'd like to give thanks to the following people for helping make the show go, such as Dwight the Janitor, Wasted Memory for RogueServer.com, where we broadcast at 10 p.m. Eastern and 7 p.m. Pacific every Friday night, Dragomir for the Corn Down at Corndown.com, and FreeSpeechMotherfucker.com. We also wish to thank our patrons, such as Mig Chungus, Jayad, Ryan T., Travis B., Gold Rust, Gordo, Parkman, Crispy808, MST3 Clay, Fancy Pants, Anonymous, Mr. Turbois, Phone Losers of America, Benjamin, Despicable Dogs, Big Boy Farts 666, Jesus Penus, and Turbo the High Level Squirrel. Thank you to everyone for supporting the show. You can find out more at immoralhole.com. You can find our show archives at travelswithmiriam.com. You can find our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash madhouse militia. You can find our YouTube at Madhouse Militia and our TikTok at Immoral Hole. You can find our live shows at rogueserver.com forward slash AKSPA on Friday nights at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. Hi, yes. Uh, I would like to make an order for takeaway. Okay, sir. Okay, one uh, lawn bread. One garlic naan? No, lawn. Harry Madilan. One Terry Madilan. Bread. Garlic. Hello. Hello. Anji. Like to make an order, please? Yes. Anji? Anji, Anji. Have you have a phone call for me? Dalia, Dalia, or anything? Dalia, are you the Dalia Ravitcha? What? What is happening, Surkavecha? I just want to place an order, Bandy Bancho. What? One minute. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Sir. No, Haram Jari Pute. What's going on? I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, hello? Hello? Hi, how are you? I'm good, ma'am. How are you? Oh, I'm a sir. Hello? Hi, I'm a sir. Hi, sorry, sir. Hi. Hi. I'd like to uh, place an order for takeaway, if that's okay. possible. Okay. Okay, I, oh, I need one Terry Marilan. Say that again? Terry Marilan. Bread. Uh, garlic. One garlic naan? One garlic Terry Marilan. I cannot understand. One garlic naan or butter naan, sir? Uh, garlic naan. Garlic naan? Yeah, do you have the gandu sauce? Say that again? Gandu? We don't have kind of this one sauce, sir. Oh, do you have benkilori? Sorry, sir, we don't have any sauce like that. We have Indian food, but like a butter chicken, chicken tikka masala. Oh, oh, you're not Punjabi, are you? That's what's wrong, right? Hello? Hi, is it Punjabi? Yeah, we sir, we make butter chicken, chicken tikka oh. masala. I think my friend, he's here with me. He, I think he steered me the wrong way. Hi. I'm the friend. How are you? I'm good, sir. How are you? Oh, very good. So what's the problem here? I don't know. I wasn't listening to the conversation. What, what did my friend say to you? Uh, she said the one garlic and other one sauces. Which one we don't have any other sauces, sir? Which one he asked about? Can you tell me the, which one he asked about the sauces? Did he, did he, did he order the Lunda Lemaru sauce? We don't kind of this one sauce, sir. We have non-vegetarian food and the vegetarian food. Huh. You know, I, I'm i looking at the menu. <laughs> She's... Hello? <laughs> Ma'am? Hello? Ma'am? I think she's done. <laughs> for, you know. Thank you for calling, Kathy. And how can I help you? Hello? Hi. Hi, do you have gandu sauce? What, I'm sorry? Gandu. Gandu? Gandu. Fondue? No, no, no. Gandu. 
No, we don't. Oh, okay. Uh, do you know where I can get some? I'm not exactly for sure. I would look on Google. Oh, yeah, we tried that, but it, it said no. It said no, you're not allowed, no. Yeah, we tried it, and it gave us a bunch of dirty pictures. What exactly are we looking for? Gandu. It's some How sort of sauce. How do I spell that? G A N D U. Gandu. Okay, give me one second. Okay, well, what's your name, ma'am? Are you Googling it for us? I'm just going to try and see what it is to see if we have anything similar because we don't have anything like that. Let me see. Okay. Mm, I think she wants all the gandu yeah. for herself. She's just being stingy We're not with the gandu. Have... Oh. This is an Indian restaurant, so we're not going to have anything like that. That is more Puerto Rican and Mexican food. Oh, okay. Do you oh, have uh, gandu is ben Puerto Rican? Gilordi? What, I'm oh, sorry? I didn't know that. Uh, ben, Ben Kilordi. Uh, no, ben... we don't have that as well. Oh, uh, do you know what is ass? Ash? Yeah. Like smoke ash? Uh, no, like big ass, you know? Okay. I am in India, my friend. How can I help you, sir? Hello. Yes. Sir. I am in India. I need your help, friend. What do you want from me? I want to take you out on a date. Sorry? I want to take you out on a date. Uh huh. And, and, and buy you flowers and be nice to you. Yeah. Uh huh. And then you can take me to your parents and introduce me as Gandhi. Okay. You can you can talk with the girl. She is waiting. Uh, she is right to write to me. You can talk with. I will give you a call. Okay, can I talk? Yeah, please. I need one. Yeah, go ahead. Hello? 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 What happened? Hello? Aramji? What? Hanji? May I calling? Yes, my name is the Big Boat Ma. Huh, I think he, he figured it out. Mother, oh, I'm please? sorry. I'll do an adjustment later. Hello? Yes, please? Hi, do you have the adjustment, uh, the, the lawn, lawn bread? Which one? The lawn, Terry Mari lawn. Which lawn? The Terry Mari lawn. Lawn. I can't understand. Oh. Uh, do you speak, do you know what is ass? I don't know. I can't understand for you. Do you know what is? Yeah. Okay. Let's start with, uh, do you know what is non? Yeah, I know non, but... Uh, oh. Which one do you want? Uh, garlic, terry, mari, lan. Non. Okay. How many? Uh, two. Uh, you and? have, uh, two. That's it? Yeah, two. Okay. Is it ready? Will be ten minutes. Oh, okay. You know, I don't want it. Okay. Hello, Indian Cafe. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. Good, sir. You. Hi, I'm the Big Boat Mosh. How are you? Good. Good, sir. How are you? Okay. Yes, I'm looking for uh, food for takeaway. Yes, sir. What would you like to order? One gandu sauce, uh, one terry mari lan, and Sorry? one banchod. Who are you? I'm the big boat mosh. How are you? Big boat mosh? Yeah. Where you live, sir? Oh, I live around the corner in the apartment building above the stores over here. 
You know, I'm the know. big boat mosh. Oh, you. You yeah. come this here. Then I oh, see I'll you. I'll come there. I'll come front. And I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll bring my sister. Lali. One second, brother. You come yeah. here, then you see you, okay? Yeah, you want me to bring my sister and I'll, I'll look for your sister. Sorry? You have a lovely sister over there? Don't have her. Oh. Why? What happened? What are your name, brother? The Big Boat Mosh. How are you? I got better than that. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. 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 I have some inquiries about your dishes. Hello. Is it a big chef? I'm gonna make an order. Yes, I'm I'm the big bad man. So. Hello. Is your voice is no clear. Gar- Excuse me? Sorry? Yes, please. What, I I want to make an order for for garlic sister. Garlic garlic naan? Sister. No, you want gar- uh, Ben? Sister. Ma'am, is the network for is the network problem? Is here your voice? It's in it's in the, like the the bread sister bread. In the room, how can I help you? Hi, can you hear me? Oh. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. This is. We wanted to make an order. There's a bunch of us here. I'm sorry. We wanted to make an order for this yes. evening. Okay, what can I get you? I'm the big bad man. So I want to taste garlic and naan. <laughs> Sister? Oh, Terry Madilan. You want to taste garlic and naan? Terry Madilan, yes. Mm-hmm. And can I have one Ben Shod? Hello? <laughs> oh, it's Springdale. I am outside here in. What's going on with this uh, preacher? I'm sorry, what was He's that? Got buckets. There's a preacher or something here. He's got buckets and he's playing loud music. I kind of like it, but he looks a little scary. Is he with you? Hi, let me help you. Oh, uh, yeah, some man came over my, my son here and he punched my toddler. What do I do? Where are you located? I'm over by the gas, the gas and diesel aisle here. Cause I'm in a truck and I have my toddler with me. I'm a single dad. I I got a whistle. I was thinking of blowing it just to alert people to the man that's, that's punching toddlers out here. I, I'm gonna blow. Where are you at? Number two. I'm gonna blow more. You say you on the diesel pump. How are you on pump two if you on the? Well, I don't know. It's a stuff. I got a whistle. Hello, this is security. I'm blowing my whistle. Can you hear me? Thank you. Yes. Uh-huh. All right. I'm. Where you at outside? Well, my toddler got punched by a man out here. He ran full okay. force into us. Okay, where are you at, ma'am? I need to know where to respond to. I'm a sir, first off. I'm a trucker. I'm in the big red truck. Says big red trucking on the side of it. Okay, are you in the back side or are you in the front parking lot? Nobody's outside. Follow the sound of the whistle. 
I think you may be in the wrong gas station, but I'll, I'll come out and check. Are you I'm at a, a, a gas pump? I'm a sir. Okay, well, I can't tell. I, I, I don't see you in front of me, okay? Are you are you uh, at a gas pump? Oh, yeah. Now, you hear the whistle? Come towards the whistle. I'm waving and dancing. I am inside the store. There's no way I can hear that. That's why I'm asking you where you're at so I can come and assist you. Well, you got to come out here. This is a inside phone that we're on right now. I'm going to set off a fire alarm. Maybe that'll you set get off your the, attention. You set off the fire alarm, then you're going to be in real trouble. Now, I'm, I'm here to help you, but you're not telling me where you're at. Ah, uh, here we go. So you just set off the fire alarm. I guess well, I, I hate to tell it. Well, I hate to I tell you, you're at, the wrong, you're at the wrong store. How do you know? You're not out here. Because I'm inside the store. If you set the fire alarm off, it would be going off in here. It's the outside fire alarm on the pump. All right. Okay, I'll be right there. Hello. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Hello. Hello, yes. Can you speak a little louder, please? Yes, please, sir. What do you want? Who's calling? It's closing time, 940. Let, let me press the button. Sorry? J just a minute now. Huh? Yeah, no problems. All right. I can hear you a yeah. little better. Yeah, yeah, sure. It's network problem, sorry. That's fine. It's coming the restaurant. No problem. All right. Now, who are you? Yeah. Are you... Sorry? Uh, yeah. I, Where are you I calling call Tanduri, from? Tand I, I call Tanduri Frame Restaurant, Wesley. Did, did you come all the way? I call restaurant, Wesley. Uh, 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 did you, uh, are you in trouble? Let's... No. My throat hurts now. I'm I'm burning my throat for some reason. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hey. Hello. 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 Great. Uh, thanks for calling. Hello. Loves. I, I... Hello. 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 Thanks for calling. Hi. Loves. How can I direct your call? Okay. Where do we go if we gotta like blow a whistle when we like when we're there? What? Like if I have to blow a whistle, like I heard, I got, I, I got. If you smoke more marijuana. Hello, I'm Hi, yeah, I'm smoking Hello. more marijuana in the room. Is that okay? Hello. Hi. Can what you hear room? me? What is the room number? Oh well, I, I was just wondering if it's okay first, because I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah, you can. If it is a smoking room, you can smoke in the room. Oh, okay, good, because the room was smoking when I got into it, and I was, con I was concerned by it. No, uh, what was the room number? Well, it, it, you know, it's the one you put me in. I no, what was, was right the room number? The... Well, I'm the... Whoa. Well, you got really loud. I'm, I'm scared. What was the room number, ma'am? Oh, yes, uh, sir. Sir, it is no, sir. Sorry, sorry. Uh, what is the room number, sir? Yeah, yeah, you, be you better be sorry. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, what is the room number, sir? It's the one that's smoking. Uh, I was two asking, one five, was the I think it was. Which one? Two uh, one five, I think. Whatever, it's smoking in here. It's very smoky. I can't see. I'm blowing my whistle at you. Two one five is not smoking. It's non-smoking. Oh well, then I'm gonna blow my whistle a whole lot. Yeah, two one five is not uh, non-smoking. Is it okay if I blow my whistle though? No, you have to open the door. You can't smoke it's in a there. whistle. It's a whistle. You can't smoke in there. It's not. It's not smoking. It's a whistle. Can I blow my whistle? Yeah. Okay. Okay. He said it's okay, guys. We can blow our whistles in here. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello? Thanks for calling Motel 6 Little Rock Snake. How may I help you? 
Hi, uh, we have a little situation in the room. There's there's a man outside and he's blowing his whistle at us. Uh, whenever well, we really try and exit the room, well, I'm oh. not sure that it's a situation revolves. Yeah, you know, he's just outside. Not a problem. Like what his, number is it? I said uh, like two one five. I'm sorry. Two one five. Two o five. Yeah. Okay, I'll take care of it. Thank you. Oh, uh, but what should we do? I'll take care of it. I'm coming to take care of it right, right we're now. We're smoking. We're smoking in here. 205, you said? Yeah, we're smoking. And the man, he, he's very angry. He's cross with us, I think. I'm on my way. Okay. But we're smoking. We want to stay in, in the status of smoking. Hi. Hi. How can I help you? Hi. Uh, uh, smoking, yes or no? Is it okay? Yes. Yes. Oh, good. And uh, blowing our whistle. Huh? Can I blow my whistle? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it okay if I blow the whistle? <laughs> Hi. Uh, I want to know if it's okay if I can blow my whistle in the room. Me too. Oh, uh, the bedroom. Like, I have one here, you know? No. Can I blow it? No. Oh, but it, but it makes, it calms me down. Hello? Okay. Can I help you? Hey, I, hey I'm, in, I'm in your uh, hotel right now, and I just want to thank you for sending up this flute player and this harmonica player. This guy's walking around in the hallway now playing his flute, and I just want to appreciate tell you I appreciate it. It's really good music. Just one minute. We just let Hello. Hello. I just wanted hey. to say that I appreciate you sending these uh, these music players up here. There's a guy out here playing a flute, and a woman out here playing a harmonica, and I just want to say thanks for it. I really enjoy it. Do you I hear them? How about, I'm going to go out into the hallway and you can hear them. You can hear them playing. Hold on. What room are you in? Do you hear that? Yeah, what room are you in? Hold on. I'm, uh, how about I hand it to you, the phone to them so you can take some requests or something? Hello? I'm the front woman of the band. Connection, how can I help you? Hello? 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 Hi. Yes, ma'am. Hi, uh, sir. It's sir. Why does everyone keep calling me ma'am? Uh, how can I help you? Well, I want to know, because you're like the fifth person tonight. Why? Um, I'm not sure because of the voice. What? The voice? Oh, I sound like a woman to you? Well, anyway, I got a, I got a situation up here. There's a, there's a person. They're blowing whistles. They told me I'm not allowed to smoke in here. They said it's an alarm. But the alarm's going off and they have to blow their whistle at me. And uh, what's the room number? Well, I don't want to tell you because you called me a woman. And it's International Women's Day today. Okay, so how, how am I supposed to help you? Well, I, I just want to know, is this is this supposed to be happening? Is this normal? Uh, but if you're in a non-smoking room, then there should, the alarm will go off. If you're in a smoking room, then it yeah, should be Yeah, the alarm fine. doesn't go off inside, but there's a person outside blowing. They're blowing things outside. Like I can blow things in here, you know, and then maybe that I mean I can I can I can suck and blow, you know what I mean? Like, yep. And then and then we go, you know, you know, mm-hmm. you know, and then, right? Yeah. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, but what room are you in? I'm in the bathroom. That's where I make all my deposits. I'm sorry? I'm making a deposit in the bathroom.
you know Hey, can I get a new box up here? Uh, what? Uh, another box up here. What the box? You know, well, the, he's, the plumbing's not working in my room, so I've been peeing in a box, and it's starting to soak through, so I just want to know if you can bring a new one up for me. What room are you in? Uh, 123? We don't have 123. Uh, well, you know what, I'd walk up, but I can't really go over. I'm actually getting ready to pee in this box again. What, um, what is it possible that it's just like day? one something? I'm not quite sure. What's the days, what's the days in you are staying? Uh, uh, what? Sorry, I'm peeing right now. It's starting to soak into the carpet what's the, here. What's uh, the days in you are staying? Yours, the one, your, your one. Actually, I talked to you earlier. Whew. I was really holding that one in. We don't have 123. It might be one something, I really don't know. Hello? Hello? Super 8, how may I help you? Hello? Super 8, Oh, what was you? going on there? You picked... Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh. Super 8, how can I help you? Oh. Okay, I don't know what's going on with your phone or something. But um, I had a question. I'm a guest here at the Super 8... And I was wondering if it'd be okay if I go around tooting my butt whistle. Sorry? Sorry? Toot my butt whistle. Just, a, just a little Can bit. You hold just on? Like, Can you hold on? Toot, 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 toot tops. <laughs> he hung up. Front desk, this is Amy. How can I help you? Hello? Hi. Hi, how can I help you? Uh, all these spiders that came out of the room. Uh, do you want them back? Uh, what happened? The spiders that came out. Do you want them back? Or can the I keep spiders? Them? Spiders. They're like little ones. You know, little guys. In your room. They went all over when I opened the door. I think they're scared. Okay, what room What's are you in? Them? The one with the what spiders. What room are you in? The one with the spiders downstairs. I think it's one something. Okay, well, if you remember the room, call me back. It's right here downstairs. Of course not. The nests are, you know, they're multiple. They like me a good Thank you spider. for calling Casino Arizona and Talking Stick Resort. Hi. This is Lindo. Hello. How can I help you? Yes. Hi. Yeah, we've we've got a situation. We got like spider nests that are in the room now. There's there's thousands of spiders coming out of the of the of the walls. Uh, it wasn't Let like me. this when we left. There yeah. was nothing like this. There was nothing. And okay. all of a sudden, it's just it's just spiders everywhere. I, okay. My kids okay. are just scared. All right, hold on I'm just a scared. moment. Let me connect you to the front oh. desk. Just oh. a moment. Oh God. Oh. Some of them mushrooms. And get ready to take it. Front desk, this is Jessica. Hello. You got all, Jessica. all kinds of spiders coming out. Hello? Wife, my brother's here. Help us. Honey, Hello, I can't tell hear him. you. Tell him. There's, it's my there's wife spiders. Here. There's Hello? spiders everywhere. There's spiders. They're going, they're scuttling hither and thither. They have they're too coming. many. I think she gave us the brush off. She said, oh. I can't hear you. 
Uh, I'm calling him back because I think he heard us just fine. Yeah. Thank you for calling Bill Casino, Arizona. Oh. Stick Resort. How may I help you? Oh, God. Uh, the, the front oh, desk, they hung up on us. The spiders. There's just thousands of spiders uh, coming out of the wall. All over our things. Welcome to Casino, Arizona. And Thank you for calling Talking Stickers Art. This is Rosita. Oh, God. Thank you. Thank you for answering. We came back into the room after, after staying out all day, and there's just spiders everywhere. There's spider nests. There's just all over our things. In our things, in our clothing. It's everywhere. What's your room number? It's a, it, wasn't it 215? Kids, do you have the room key? Race. <laughs> We're covered in spiders. They're biting us. What was the room number? I think I in my hair. I think it's 215, but it might have been 2205 or 20. I, I don't know. I, I'm a dyslexic. I, I have trouble with the numbers. And What's your last name? It's Smith. <laughs> Get out of my head. Oh, <laughs> it's going my gear. And what's the first name as well? Yeah, it's John Smith. I traveled here on the Mayflower. Smashing. Okay, so I don't have anything under that name. Are you by chance calling the wrong hotel? No, no, no. We're here. We have spiders. They're okay, in all so of our things. So if I could have you call from the hotel phone, that way I can verify. Well, the your... phone is covered in spiders. We're not going to put that near our ears. No, no. I will well, not. I would do need that. the correct Smashing. room number to send housekeeping. Housekeeping? What are they going to do about the spiders? I would need Brain. to verify and go Brain. check out the room. Brain spiders. Right, talk to my kids. I I, I gotta I gotta figure out the room number. <laughs> Why are you trying to give us almost... brain spiders? You can't put those in your ears. Are you crazy? <laughs> my hair. Is it supposed to bleed like this? I'm lighting them on fire. The, the alarm's going off, but I'm lighting them on fire. Is that okay? Hello? It's fire yeah. extinguisher. Oh. Like Cattle Valley, this is Kayla. Hi, Kayla. Kayla. No, Hi. she said her name is Caleb. Caleb, there's a problem in the room. What room? The room I'm in, I, there's a problem. I got a problem with it. 215. Hi. New yeah, York. Ray oh, okay. New York and Rabbi. Russell Pilot. Russell Pilot, how may I help you? Yeah. Do you guys um, have ribeyes? Do we have what? I'm sorry. Go, Ted. Oh, I was. So we're on the tarmac um, at the airport, and the pilot just fell ill because he had the fish. And uh, so we're looking for a pilot. Uh, is anyone there can fly a plane, preferably a 737 MAX? Yellow. Um, this is a pilot gas station. Oh, yeah, we were sort of in a situation here where, like, we asked if any of the passengers had flying experience or that they could take over, and then someone said, hey, there's this place called Pilot. Call them. Yeah, no. Yeah, we we won't be able to Have you ever? Just... Yeah, have you ever played, like, Microsoft Flight Simulator or anything like that? Because I think that qualifies you to fly a commercial airline. Is this a real... 
look, I got a bunch of people who want to get to where they're going, and the pilot had the white shit. Truck stop. Pepper no, and garlic. Last thing you do. Last two hey, flips. Truck stop. Hello? Huh? Hello? Hello? Hi, truck stop? Yes? Yeah, how you doing? Good. Uh, how? Yeah, I have a question. Can you wash me in the showers there? Because I'm awfully no. dirty. No. Oh, you don't provide the personal bather? Like, no. You know, in coming to America, he had like five or six women. Hello? Oh. Right, laundry. Laundry. Oh, to know how to make a steak. Huh? How do you make the steak? No, the kitchen's closed. Yes, but how do you make it? Oh, God, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> Yes, hello. Uh, How do you cook the steak? Oh, I need you to tell me. My grandson's here. Hey, you talk to him. Hello? Hello? <laughs> I've listened to Horsey Cat probably 50 times this week. That was Sticky Spray that did that song. Yeah. Hi, Rock, yeah. Can't can't get enough. How can I help you? Hi, we're here with my grandmother. She's having trouble uh, ordering the food. Can you explain to us like, how you make the steak? Uh, yes, we cook the steak on a light wood stove fire. Last time someone called up and spoke to me on the phone, I got in quite a bit of trouble because I went for something I shouldn't have. Because, well, the oldest way, so... She, uh, she wouldn't speak to me for a week. Now, that happens, but that really hurts. And sometimes in family, you know, these things are quite important, you know. They're more important than any phone call or whatever it is. I'm sorry, what was your question? Well, you know... So the steak, how, how do you make the steak? Friendly, she she gets yeah, so we I'm her, sorry. Hello? We make our steak... Hello, are you there? We, we make our uh, steaks on a wood fire phone grill. I'm phone in my moist knickers. And the hearing is not so good. Yes, uh, what were you saying again? I'm sorry, what was that? Well, with the world finances, uh, they are, I'm sorry, I'm here with my uh, grandma. Well, She's getting confused. We called about uh, to find out about how you make oh, the steak. How is this going to work? How we make the steak? Yeah, yeah, because she's so a little confused. Pepper, she just wants to know. Salt and pepper seasoning, that's it, and then we throw it on a wood fire grill. Well, Does the salt come first, or is there. that second? It's a bad patient with an old maid like me. I, uh, yeah, grab, it's oh. something I've been told I should be looking at. My first eldest, Larissa, I believe I've mentioned her before. And I believe it's she, I believe it's she, pepper, she then salt, and then the something grill. like this. <laughs> It's something that is most appropriate for the time. Could you all hold on a moment? Just a second, dear. Y'all need anything else? Okay, Grandma. Uh, no, I think I think we got it. Well, alrighty. I don't know what's going on. Can we fuck this thing? What were you saying again? There's no way, bro. I'll go to Disneyland week. Can we fuck the steak? Sorry, dear. Which company did <laughs> you say you calling from again? No, Grandma, we're talking what? to the man about the steak. Yes, yes, yes. Invest <laughs> my pink steak, dear Miriam. <laughs> Pictures of their meat to each other. Hello? Hello? Hi, Sorry, can you hear me there? This is Calvary Man Steakhouse. Yes, my name is Cicely. What can I help you with? So... We are talking concerning meat, and I, I just need you to settle the score for me once and for all. Okay. How do you cook that meat? Like our steaks here? Yep. On a grill? No way. Is that uh, what you're in, like, well, 
Yeah, partially. I mean, just, you know, like how's it done sort of thing. And also, um, I'm looking to save a little money if I can just bring in my own. Like, what do you, what do you charge for that sort of thing? Oh, okay. So I'm not, I don't believe that we are, will cook meat that is not from here. Um, I don't know if other steakhouses do that, but I'm pretty sure that's something that we will do. Uh, just because of sanitation issues. And yeah, I, I mean, I bring my meat everywhere I go. Um, I got good meat, too. I can show, like, send you guys a picture uh, ahead of time, too, if you just want to get a look at it and make sure it's quality meat. Is it is it more like a dietary thing? No, I'm just looking to save a little cash because I got my own meat, and I, you know, I just, I like to go out, but I don't like to pay a lot. And so uh, usually if you just bring your own meat, I mean, it's not costing you guys much. And, and then basically all my tip goes back to uh, to the help, you know what I mean? We just keep it off the books strictly. Okay. Um, let me see if that is something that we even do. Uh, I'll go ahead and ask Amanda. No, I do my also. Thing. Yeah. Oh, for sure. And also, yeah. Just Yeah, get back. Sorry. Um, no, no. You can. You had another question. Well, yeah. So, uh, are you guys okay if like I got a little livestock too? Like I, I can, I, I can get like a whole truck. I can basically get it the freshest if I just put it down in the parking lot and then we just process it in the back. And I, and in the end, that with that, I could probably just leave you guys with a little extra meat. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, ask the manager. Do you mind if I mute you for a second or put you on hold for a second? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, thanks. I don't know what is happening. One game by one, I'm heck can I help you? Hey, don't even speak. Don't even speak. Listen, I have a problem. Somebody's going to have to come clean the floor on, on, on number two, on level two. Okay. I, I accidentally evacu I, I I evacuated my bowels on the floor. Where is this? In the hallway. And what room are you in? No, I in the hallway is where it happened. Right, what room? I'm not room? staying here. Well, I, I'm not staying here. I was just wandering the hallway. You don't stay here. You was just wandering the hallway. It's what I do. I wear my kilt because I'm ex I'm exploring my 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 heritage, and then I purposely don't we don't wear any trousers underneath. And I I squatted down and I pooped in the hallway. Okay. So somebody's gonna have to. It, it's liquid, so you're gonna need something other than. Sometimes my button gets stuck. Yeah, hi. Me and my friends are having a tomato fight in our room. Um, we need to reset the game. Do you have any cloths so we can clean the walls? What's your room number? Uh, 215. We threw a bunch of tomatoes at each other and we hit the walls. And now there's some holes in the walls because I throw, I throw like fucking Randy Johnson from the Diamondbacks, baby. Okay, what's your name, sir? My name is Henry. But you can call me God. Okay, can, can you please come to the front desk, sir? Uh, but I'm covered in tomatoes. It looks gross. It looks like a woman perioded on me. Okay, I will come to you. Okay, come kiss me. Thank you for calling, Elrach. It's, it's time for Nunu to say something. Hello? Hi, Um, are you Nunu's mother? No, you got a wrong number. This is Motel, sir. No, I know it's Motel, but we are with Nunu. We're here with Nunu. We're going to get a room. Nunu? Yes, Nunu. He said you're his mom to call you to help us getting a room. Hmm. With Nunu? I don't know about Nunu. <laughs> He said, he said, this is what Nunu said. He said, I am Indian and uh -huh. my mom working there. Okay. And
That's Nunu playing the music. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I have no idea, sir. You have to can come to have, the office, okay? Whoever you can are. Can we have one big room? When you need it, sir. Tonight. We're needing no. a room tonight for Nunu. It's his birthday. He's a virgin. We're going to fuck him. Yes, this is Shanisha. May I help you? Hi, um, Nunu told me to call you. Who? Nunu. How can I help you? No, 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 no. Nunu told me to call you. You said you got the hookup on gas. No, 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 no. Thousands upon thousands of. Uh, th- there's thousands of spiders in the room. Uh, oh, what's it? Uh, two one five. I have my my brother and my sister and my and my brother's uh, wife and 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 dog and daughter are here. Would you like? They they're covered in spiders. I'm not sure what to do. Ah, uh, uh, those spiders, spiders. <laughs> spiders everywhere. There's just spiders everywhere. Uh, two one yeah. five. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Everybody's in here, and they're all covered in spiders. Like, what's the name of oh, the reservation? Oh, well, we put in here by the church, the church of the machine. They put us in here. I don't know whose name's on the res- reservation. Cold on your shoulder. And there's all these machine spiders. Machine crash, save me from Mid-band, these spiders. you're spiding me. <laughs> Let me smash it. It's all over the place, just spiders everywhere. There's there's spiders on the ceiling, there's spiders in the toilet. Can you call me from your there's No, it, they crash. ate it. Please save us. The spiders, it, it, it's all webbed up. The whole phone is just in a web. 215, more people are staying. 215 is awake. Oh, well, we, we opened the, the door phone? ourselves because the church gave us the we key. We snuck in. We gave it a push and a shove. And we walked in and we've been staying here. But it, it's like it's mothballed or something. Like there's all these spider webs and spiders. Excuse me, sir. I'm caught in the web. Oh, my God, I'm caught in the big web. It's not vacant. There's spiders in here. Lots of spiders. There's something in the corner, guys. You see the eyes on that thing? Ah, uh, I'm gonna come. Oh, it's gonna come in me. Oh, it feels so good. I don't think she'd like. Come do calls. Hey, Riverfront. Hi, Riverfront. Listen, I'm in the back here. And uh, I've been I've been putting my fingers in the dirt, and I found something shiny, and it's a whistle. Oh wow! What are you gonna okay do it? I, well, I was wondering if it's okay if I just blow it out here. If you blow the whistle? Yeah. Sure. Why not? Go right ahead. All right, here I go. Okay. Carly, the hotel is taking okay. me help you. Hi. Do you have a warm oil? Hi. Um, we found a whistle in a warm hole. This is JD with ballet. How can I help you? Um, my friend, I found a whistle in the hole. I whistle in the hole, man. I found the whistle. Oh yeah, whistle in my arse hole. Oh, do whistle in my arse. Oh. Do you know who you're calling? Just you, man. We in the room right now, and the whistle is right here, man. Mm. He found a whistle in a whistle in my arse. Puts the air inside of my anus. Bueno. I is all bent over. Hi, how are you? Like, and this man is like blowing into my anus hole with a vessel. Yo soy un árbitro. En serio. Simon Way. Okay. 
¿Y dónde eres? De tu madre. ¿Cuál es? No. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Motel 6. Hey, um, am I allowed to blow the whistle? What whistle? There was a whistle under my pillow in the room. I'm just asking if I'm allowed to blow the whistle. I don't have no clue. <laughs> what can I help you with? If that's what you're asking, what room are you in? Um, well, am I in trouble? It sounds like you mad or something, baby. No, sir. Uh, what, can I, what can I help you with? Hey, man, that, that lady sounds like a bitch. Blow that whistle. No, you cool, bro. It's cool. She cool. I'm she cool. My whistle. It's- and then we start with the regular time. Hi, yeah. Uh- Do you know Dragon Mirror? Sorry? Do you know Big Dragon? No. Dragon these nuts on your face, bitch. Uh, ah, <laughs> uh, uh, Lips net. Thank you for calling Days in Bav in the moment. How many people? We got a problem. Thank you for calling. Hello? Ah, yes, there's a man, and he's whistling. And he's scaring me. The man is scaring me with his whistle. What does it mean? Hello? Uh, I'm a whistling man with a whistle. Like to wet my whistle. Uh, now we have an issue out here. We're here for the wake up call. Uh, we were told to call here and give you the wake up call. Here we are. Hello? Wake up! I think they're gone. Hi, yeah, nothing's working in the room. I plugged in my toaster into the outlet in the bathtub, and when I when I put it on, it turns off. What's your number? Uh, you know, I, I don't know if I want to give that to you because I'm worried. Because the last place, you know, I had the same thing happen. Like, what's, what's your going number, on? Sir? What's well, your I, don't, I don't know that I want to say because I'm worried I'm going to get thrown out like the last place. And I don't mean anything wrong by it. I just want to make toast while I eat my, while I take my shower, you know. But what's your room toast. number? It's 215. 215? Yeah, but why does the toaster turn off? I need my bathroom toaster working. It's the Ecologian Switzer. Yeah, but I want my toaster to work in the bathroom. My bathroom toaster. What's your name? Oh, I'm stupid. Hello? Are you stupid? I'm stupid. Yes. I, I, I I had it plugged into the wrong outlet. This what's one your, probably works. I, uh, what's your name, sir? Well, I work at the hotel. I'm your friend, remember? You dialed the wrong motor. No, no, no. I'm I'm friends with your 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 boat mosh. You are dying the wrong one. No, no, no. Yeah. No, no, no. No, no, yes. no, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no. Uh, we found no, no. He's not happy. Calling in How can I help you? Hi, yeah, there's a man here and he's whistling. He said, you know, he, he came up to me. He said, hey, uh, I'm going to whistle. I'm going to whistle outside your room all night. Is that okay? And I said, no. And then he said he's going to he's gonna touch me. Which room you are there? I'm in uh, 215 uh, or one, it was 105 or 215. I've been, I've, I've been drinking. I have, I have issues with numbers. 
So he's whistling. I put the phone up at the door so you can hear him. He's in your room? He's no, in your he's room? outside. He's outside the room. Okay. 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 But he wanted me to, like, do something for him. And then he'd stop. Oh. Okay. What do I do? I'm scared. You don't open the door. Well, that's the problem. My son, he opened the door and he's out there with the man. I don't know what they're doing out there. He said he was... The whistling is beautiful. He said he wanted to whistle with him. But to call the cops. No, no, no. I don't think we need to do that because they're just whistling. Okay. Then if you're fine with it, then it's okay. What what more do you want to do? You can call the cops to let the man out of this in this place. Oh, God, what's going on? I don't know. Because my son's out there. Son, take... Here, let me open the door. I'm going to hand the phone to him. Here, take the phone. Hello? My only purpose now is to whistle. I must whistle for the master. Hey, we are calling cops right now. The cops cannot help you with whistling. That is a silly reason, say the gods of whistling. Can you hear the cops? Please, 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 please stop whistling. Other guests are getting disturbed. I request you to stop whistling. We must whistle for the greater good. Spread the whistling to all the doors and all of the hotel, friends. <laughs> Other guests are getting disturbed. We have to we have to stop this thing. Can't allow this thing. Okay. A good friend of ours. Okay, we're gonna all whistle you. now. We're gonna whistle together. Big dog calls are like ice cream on my balls. It feels really big, as good as it should. I like his balls. Thank you for you for know I really would. Hello? What's your name is? Hi. How Hello, can I help please. You? Hi, um my my wife, I think she lost she lost something in the hotel. And I gotta try to figure it out if it's in a lost and a found it. So what room were you guys in? Uh we were in two fifteen. And what's the last name that was on the room? The the last name was Johnson. And when did you stay? Uh, Two days back was when we left. Okay, and what did your wife lose? Her panties. So unfortunately, um, our lost and found are is locked up because our housekeeping is in charge of that. So I'd call back tomorrow uh-huh. morning. Okay, because you know there. that chair, right? The 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 chair you guys always have that's kind of in the corner. Yeah. So like I was sitting there, and then like this guy came in, like he knocked. And then he came in and he had sex with my my wife and I sat in the cock chair and I watched. Uh, and like then like I wanted the panties as a souvenir, but the, I think he took them. But I want to make sure before I kick his ass. Uh, okay, yeah, I'd call back tomorrow morning. What time tomorrow morning? Um, housekeeping gets here at nine, so I call around ten. Why why the hour wait? Um, just so they can get all situated and like get their rooms assigned. For the day. Oh, that, yeah, that that doesn't mean shit to me, you know. Uh, yeah, but it just gives them a minute, like that way you're. It's not right as they get here because they get here between nine and nine thirty, depending but, on the housekeeper. But I'm not mistaken. That's what that that's what that chair is for, right? Like so you can um, so you can watch. Like it's a single chair and it's facing the bed all the time. Unfortunately, that's I. 
can't answer that because um, that's up to the guest, I guess. Um, but yeah, but 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 when we get there, it's already facing the bed. Okay, I just call back tomorrow morning about the lost item. Okay, but but why did you force me into this situation by face making me face the bed like that? That's gross. My wife had sex with another man. Unfortunately, we did not force anything, so I'm going to have to... I felt like um, I was forced into the situation because you guys faced the chair towards the bed. If you have a problem with that, then you can speak with management on Monday. Now me and my wife are having marital problems because she fucked another man because you guys put a chair there and made me watch. You can take that up with management on Monday then. Well, who are you? I'm just a front desk agent who works here. It is 10 well, o'clock on a Friday night. It's Women's Day. Shouldn't you take some type of charge? No, unfor- it's 10 o'clock on a Friday night. If you have any issues like that, you would need yeah, to take it up yeah. on with management. It was like some psychological ploy on, on behalf of the hotel. Okay, yeah, I would just call back tomorrow about the lost item, and if you would wish, wish to speak okay. with management, you can um, okay. call back on Monday. And the guy kept the guy kept going, looking at me, going, "Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this." Okay, yeah. So I um, unfortunately, like, we are super busy, and I cannot stay on the phone much longer. This, look at this. So I'm look gonna this, have to this, um, hang up. This. That's what he kept doing. He kept looking at me with his big blue eyes. He said, "Look at this, look at this, look at this." And his yeah. penis was so, magical. It was magical. It was glistening. It was engorged. You just look at this, okay. look at this, look at this. Yeah, unfortunately, I am going to hang up now because that I do, do not see my ball. Well, don't, okay, don't slide off of your seat then. How did my ball look, bro? It was magical. Did you get a perm down there? Welcome out, man. This is Ron. How can I help you? Yeah, oh. Ron, uh, there's some shit going on at the room. There's some shit going on. Which room? Which, which the room, room got friend? the door messed up because my friend, he can just whistle and it opens the door. He just whistles at the door and it opens. I think he's whistling at a certain frequency. Well, what door are you talking about? Which, which door? It's a big door on the side. Uh, you mean the outside door? Yeah, the door where he can whistle. You just go outside, whistle, and the fucking door opens like that. I don't know what door you're talking about, my friend. Are you talking about one of the outside doors going to the outside of the building? Can you see me from where you're at? Just look over here in this direction and watch my boy whistle his ass off. I don't know which direction I'm pointing, my friend. Hey, oh my God! The door's I need open. To know, I need to know where you're at. We've got a lot of doors around here. Which door are you at? The big door. The big door. Big one. The big door. He's whistling at. Can't you see us? No, I can't. I can't. Are you? Are you? Are you trying to mess with me or what? I can hear somebody no, whistling. I'm, I'm inside the office. No, we're in the outside of the outside. Okay. Is that your old man fucking deaf or blind? Like, what the fuck? Hey, He's I don't have to really put up with your mouth. You know what? I don't have to put up with you. I'm trying to figure out where you are. You quit swearing at me now. I swear Don't sit and whistle at me. Tell me friend, where you me. are. How many big doors do we have? Now, you're getting me mad because you're being rude. But don't tell I don't me I should see you because I can't. His name. What? Tell that, mother, tell that motherfucker to put his bifocals on. Hey, it's, let me tell you what. I don't have to put your name. baloney. Tom Fuller. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Holy You're sorry Lord. about what? Put on Yelling at me, office. swearing at me, mm-hmm. telling me how stupid I am. I'm s- Why I don't I know am. where the heck you are. Put on your binoculars, sir. <sighs> I said I'm sorry, okay? 
<laughs> I don't get it sorry either. about. Life's hard, okay? Don't tell them we're in I'm trying to be hard. We just life is hard. We just gotta keep going. We just They'll gotta keep going, sir. Hey, you know what? You know how hard life is. Do you know? Do you know how, how much I'm you gonna? You just gotta pull up your. You're making my tube stick hard. We just have to look at each other and try to turn life into something better every day. You see, what we got to do is turn the burden of unimaginable pain into an unparalleled will. Another day, another dollar, another fight. People fight every day. They fight to get out of bed. They fight to get to work. Yes, preach They it. fight. You need to fight. Just keep fighting, sir, because if you don't keep fighting, you're going to lay down. And you know what happens when you lay down? People lay fucking down. walk all over you. People will walk all over you if you lay down, motherfucker. So don't let your ass lay down. Just keep fighting every goddamn day, there, motherfucker. I won't let you quit. You're too good to quit. All right? Stop you're not going to fucking quit on me. Stop spraying me. You're not going to quit. Mountain Inn, this is Ron. How can I help you? I just want to tell you something before you hang up on me again. Are you a guest here? Are you a guest? I'm a guest there, hotel? and they're whistling at me. I said, are you a yes, guest I am, at the hotel? Yes or no? Yes, I am a guest. Okay, which room are yes, you I'm in? Yes, I'm a guest. Which room? I'm in the big room, the big, extra big room with the big doors. By the explosion. Hello? I'm sorry? Uh, Hello? Yeah, how, do we, how do you cook the, the cow? We got one here. I'm sorry? Yeah, how do we cook the cow? Hi, I'm I'm Hi, here right there. now, and I got a question. Sorry. Um, I have I have a lobster at the house. Do you do seafood? Yes, we do seafood. Okay. Um, I want to know because I I bought this from the market. How do you, how do you snap this this lobster's neck humanely so it doesn't feel pain? Um, I can. Uh, ask one of my chefs for you. Because this little motherfucker pinched me three times, Al. He asked me to take off the rubber bands, and I did, and he fucking pinched me, and now I got his, I got his little fucking red lobster throat between my fucking big motherfucking meaty hands, and I want to know how to end its life. Sure, I can uh, Whoa. ask one did of my chefs. Just scream, uh, did somebody just scream naked in the back there? <laughs> Who just screamed? Thank you for calling 13 Coins Pioneer Square. How may I help you? How do you make turf and turf? Surf and turf? Yeah, how do you make that shit? Please don't swear at me. I'm sorry. We We don't offer it on our menu. However, it's usually made with crab and lobster. But how do you do it is what I'm asking. So that's the thing I'm asking. You're not paying we don't attention. Sur- we don't serve that here. Do you make steaks? Yes, we make steaks. Can I talk to the cook so he can tell me how to make goddamn steak? Because you're not helping. You know, please do not swear at me. I'm asking you one last time. I, I, that's not a swear. I said, God damn, that's not a okay, swear. We're okay, we're done. Have a wonderful evening. Claws, stroke it, cover it in juice. Searching Coins Finder Square. Hey, baby, how do I deshell that clam? You know what I'm saying? What happened? I need help deshelling this clam. <laughs> 13 Coins is 13 Coins Restaurant. 13. Oh, I'm sorry. I called the wrong. Uh, well, actually, no. I, I was actually fuck. Listen, <laughs> I, I have a crush on you. I'm I'm just right across the way, man. You look really hot. Will you go out on a date with me? <laughs> I'm straight. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> well, I mean, hey, gay straight. It doesn't matter to me as long as you just kind of are a cool person. Right, right, right. All right. Well, I'm 
I'm and taking my care of a table, but have a good bathroom, day, okay? And we're looking for guys like you, stud. <laughs> we want to fuck. We want to fuck you. All right. Have a good night. Oh, uh, this bathroom's full of dudes he just as hot as you. Stay. Singles in your area. Good evening. Thank you for calling Radiator Whiskey. Do you guys have tube steaks? No. Can I have your tube steak? Come on. What's going on? You know, I was over here jerking off, thinking of you. Thank you for calling oh, Elvis. This is Melissa. How may I help Hi. you? Hi, Melissa. You have tube steak there. Uh, sorry, do we have yet? Yeah. Do we have what? Tube, tube, tube steak. No. You, you sure? Yeah. All right. Uh, would it be all right if I brought my cow along and we can make tube steak with it? No. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I guess you're going to just have to cook it yourself. <laughs> do you know how to cook steak? Rare? Nope. <laughs> I need help, and you're laughing at me. <laughs> Hold this bitch down. Hold this bitch down. I'm going to give this bitch a punch. I'm going to fucking eat beaten in a, by an hour. I have to go. Okay, good luck. My, cow, my cows are horny. Hold her down. I'm going to kick her in the ribs and eat this son of a bitch. Good luck. Be nice to the cow. Fuck, you ain't no being a nice to some shit you're going to eat, baby. Fucking go to the ribs. Wait, wait a minute. I thought we were nice to you. Whoa, that's mean. Uh, Ah, I could give, I could give up that opportunity though. I, I'm not calling you fat. I'm sorry. It's, it's a joke. It's a joke. That's pretty mean. <laughs> no, 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 no. It, it was a zinger. Got it was a zinger. It was a zinger. I, 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 I apologize. You're very attractive. Okay. I'm looking at you through the win. I'm looking at you through the windows. You're very attractive. I don't see you. I've been that's talking that's shit to this yeah. cow all day because I know the cruelty makes it taste better. <laughs> okay, well maybe I'll talk to you later. But I got some people up here. All right, honey. Okay, bye. Good luck. Hey. You ain't worth nothing. You'll never. An uncircumcised. Thank state. you for calling Kel's Irish Restaurant and Bar. For hours direction. Are oh, we gonna get some potatoes? Hello, can you hear me? I can. Okay, so I have a question for you. Okay. Okay, so like I am in your bathroom right now and there's like a bathroom attendant here and he is being like a little too hands-on and I want you to ask him to stop. A bathroom attendant? Yes, the man in here, he has a towel over his shoulder and he's wearing like a little suit and stuff and he gave me like cologne and helped me to wash my hands but I, I he's being a little like too hands-on and he's like touching me and I want you to ask him to stop, please. Are you in Kells, Irish pub? Yes, I'm here in your bathroom. I am on vacation from Germany, seeing the American landscapes. And there was a man, the bathroom attendant here. His name, he said, was Dwight. And he is touching me, like, all over us and stuff. And I want you to ask him to leave the bathroom, please. Absolutely. I'll get right on that. Hello? Can you hear the man? Hello? I had wiped my arm. Hello? And how can I help you? Hi, there is a man like here. I'm in your one of your bathrooms and I am here and the man, the bathroom attendant, is getting a little hands on and he will not leave. I want you to ask him to leave, please. I wouldn't have my maintenance is gone for the night. Not maintenance, the, the, how you say, the man in the bathroom who will like give you mints and help you to clean and stuff, he is getting like two hands on for me and I need you to ask him to stop. Okay, then I would ask him to stop. That's not at my resort. No, yes, I am here and I am in the bathroom and the man came with the room and he said like, he is a bathroom attendant, he helped me get clean, he helped to shave me and things. I am on vacation from Germany. This is my first time in the country, and I'm just wondering, like, can you ask the man to leave? You know, I'm going to leave this phone line clear for actual emergencies, okay? No, this is an an emergency for me because... 
Thank you for calling. Are you the scuba diving? Plus. <sighs> Thank you for calling Best Western Plus. How may I help you? What you get all huffy for? I'm just in here taking a shit. It's human nature. I have a question for you. Okay. And I can't take a kind of call. Thank you. Goodbye. What do you mean? I... Hello? Hi. Yeah, there's a man here. He's asking me to make Customer love to his service. mouth. Hello? 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 Hi. Hi, there's a man here. He... Everson Horse Palace, this is Brittany. Horse? Hello? Hello? Yes, this is the Horse Palace. Hi, how are you? I'm good, yeah. how are you? Um, well, you know, uh, as good as I can be, I, I'm very sad, actually. I I lost my horse earlier today. <sighs> and I'm trying to find a substitute. Thank you for calling Gold Dust West. This is Ashley. How can I help you? Hello? Hello, Ashley? Yes. I have a situation brewing uh, up by the ice machine Hi. on the second uh, second uh, floor here. Uh, At the hotel? Yeah, yeah. My my son, he, he got himself stuck inside. The ice machine? Yeah. Okay, um, I'll get someone right there, yeah. okay? Well, uh, can you stay on the phone because he's quite scared. Son, here, you talk to the I'm lady, scared. okay? Here, I'm scared. Talk to her. I can you hear me? I hit, touched the ice, and now I'm stuck in here. Give me the radio. I got out of the pool. I got out of the pool, and my penis was still wet, and then I touched it with the ice, and now I'm stuck down a machine. I was reading the wrong name. I was like, I'm scared. I didn't need to too far in there. Oh. Yeah, it's a whole thing. The whole thing. Scared. I do. do. Son, I think they're getting someone. They're going to come up here, okay? They need to bring some warm water. Oh, okay. They need to put up signs that says if you get your penis wet in the pool, don't touch it to the ice machine. I'm dead. Hello? Scared! I'm scared! You're scared? Dad, tell her, help me! Alright. Okay, where are you at? I got, I went into the pool, and then I came out, and I came up to get some ice, and my penis was wet, and now it's stuck to the ice machine! Okay, hold on, I'll get MOD I'm for you. I'm scared! Yes. Yes. Thank you. Oh. 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 Don't pull. I got, a, I got. No, I got to pull. No, don't pull on that. 
No, you're going to topple it over. You are going to try to pull it loose. Roll water and throw it on me. Oh, it's all over. This is um, Jeremy. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm going to try to pull. I'm going to try what? to pull it, pull loose. My penis loose from the ice, ah, from the ice machine. What floor are you on? What floor? Hello? 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 Uh, hello? What uh, floor are you on? I'm on floor two. Hang All right, on. we'll be there in a second. I'm going to try to... No, hang on. No. I'm going to try to pull loose again. I wouldn't if I was you. We'll be over in a minute. Bring it back to the hot water, please. India's finest. Hi, yeah. I have India's finest here. We were wondering if we could stay... When? Uh, well, do you have any any open rooms tonight? Uh, two for four people. Yep, just come on in. Okay. Uh, here's the one condition: they're not wearing any clothing. They're nudists. Well, they can't come in then. Well, they're going to be nude in the room. Well, they have to come in with clothes on. Okay, we have sheets for them. Nope, it has to be clothes. Well, they're clothes. It's 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 wrapped around them like a tunic. Nope, doesn't work. But that's proper clothing. Not here, it isn't. We're having a toga party. Doesn't matter. Okay. This is a sovereign nation. You have to be properly clothed. Oh, we're no, no, no. See, we we're we're sovereign citizens. We don't. We're not a part of your your country. It Whatever matter. country that is. I mean, really. <clears throat> This is an, a Native American casino, and it's a sovereign nation, and you have to follow their rules. Oh, we're on the wrong we're on the wrong side of the road then. Yeah. That's the problem. Okay, okay, I have someone that I'm checking in. So if you're coming in, okay, come on in. Yeah, Please. we're gonna come in, and we're gonna be clothed, and uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna talk in anything. You know. Okay, I gotta go. Bye. Okay, have a good night. Bye. I think most of the time. Hey, call the board in. What can I do for you? Hi, yeah. There's a man here, and he he's he's been touching me with his his finger. Pardon? Yeah, he's touching me with his finger. He said that he wants to come in with me to the room, but he's not my friend. I don't know him. And he said, "Oh, you what have to you? let me in." Uh, One oh seven. One oh seven. Pardon? One oh seven. Yeah. I th- I Here, let me give guys, him the phone. I think you guys have the. I think you guys can. All right, yeah, you guys have the wrong hotel. All right, come on, man. I'm gonna suck the pants off of you. Now get your finger away from me, sir. I don't know where that's. Listen, been. listen, listen. That was Cat's nickname in college. Trust Thanks for on. calling. Loves travel stories. <laughs> Homeless, clean places, and crazy butt. What the fuck? Fuck you. Press one. If you're a professional driver, you gotta be a bullshit. <laughs> press two for all other calls. For quality assurance. Yeah, Truck stop. Oh yeah. Hyphonics just effed, restocking his fucking shelves. I watched that fucking stream all the way through last night. He made a really boring ass game into a really great fucking stream. He's an hour two of stocking the fucking shelves. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I keep critiquing him. I'm like, John, you got to rotate that stock, man. I was like, can't you? Can't... Up, but, yeah. yeah, I was like, you, you got to rotate that stock. I was like, you can't just keep tossing the new in front of the old, man. Hey, we're calling up 607 Dunder, Arkansas. I can help you. Yeah, is is Dragon there? No. Dragon D's nuts on your chin. You better go fucking find him right now. Thank you for calling Jay Resort. This is Mary. Have me address your call. Mary. Hello? 
Hi, yeah. it's me and my husband Dwight, and we're we're coming down there. Okay. We're a couple gay old where sailors. Are where are you now? We're butt pirates. Um, we're almost there. We just want to know if we could take a shower together. What you do in your room, in the privacy of your own room, is your business, not mine. I'm just trying to rob him of his fecal deposits. Oh, you know. Come on, baby. You don't got to know all that. I'm bashing. No question. Thank you for calling Hello? Tamara Casino. This is Crystal. Hi. Hello. Yeah, hi. hi. There's a problem. There's a man here. He has a whistle. He's been whistling and, and blowing things out in the hallway, scaring us all night. Are you are you calling? Yeah, yeah. We're we're here, and this guy he he's been blowing this this whistle at us. He said he works for you. Where are? We're up here. Nope. I don't know. You know. You know. You know. You put us up here because we had a problem with the room, the first room you put us in, and uh, you woke us up. Now you got this guy here. Waking us up. You got the wrong no, number. We don't have a whole pod. It's okay, so. Well, that's pretty funny, isn't it? Hello, thank you for calling the Whitney Speaker Coast Front Desk. Can I help you? Yeah, Hello? somebody was telling me there's a sushi place that's really good. A sushi place? Yeah, but I guess it's a strip up. It's a what? Some, I talked to like three people asking for the best sushi in town, and they all said it's inside of a strip club. How the fuck does that work? I'm not sure. You don't know where that is? It's supposed to be by the, uh, the biggest little city sign. Yeah, I don't know, unfortunately. Oh my! Can you can you put somebody else on that can help me out then? Yeah, give me one sec. Gina, come here. Oh. Hello. Hello. My name is Savannah. Yes. Hello. Yes. Mm, yes. Who do you keep whispering? I can hear you guys. Thank you for calling home to sweet. I can't do it good anymore. Hello? Hello? Yes, ma'am? Um, hi. Can we have a room? We do have rooms. Um, you don't have a room with two beds? Uh, we do not have two beds. It's a queen bed with a pull-out sofa and a kitchen inside. I, I, I think that should be okay. Okay. You can come um, to the hotel. You, what, what time are you off? What time Sorry? are you off? I'm here, ma'am, at the hotel. What time you get off work? In the morning. Um, maybe when you're off, you can come to my room? Sorry, ma'am, who is this? My name is Banchor. Ha 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 ha! You thought I was a girl, Gandu. Sorry. <laughs> you thought I was a girl, Gandu. Ha ha! You're gay now. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Gandu. You thought I was a girl, but it's me. I'm a man. Ha ha. What the? Banchor. Thank you for calling Best Western. Yes, yeah, all for you, Milkman. Yeah, Best Western. How can I help you? Me and my husband, Dwight, we want to come down there and play with the scorpions. Come on, 
I want the scorpion to sting me in the balls. So I could be yeah. I could be the scorpion. Hey, you know, I got the phone. Hey, bitch! Don't you talk to me. I want the scorpion to sting me in the balls like the Spider-Man guy. Turn on that vibrator, honey. Turn on that vibrator. 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 I, well, I guess he followed me because he keeps whistling outside my room door. What's your room number? It's 215. Call it in. Hi. Have you heard of the legend of the little whistle you boy? Stop calling this phone number now. Uh, Make a call on Silver Legacy. My name is Missy. Have me a director call. Uh, yeah, there's this guy here, and he keeps whistling at my door. Allow me to get you over to security. One moment, please. Thank you. Security dispatch. Hi, Hello? um do you guys do you guys have a guy that works for you? He he keeps whistling at my door. Uh no, we ain't got nobody work for us whistling at people's doors. He just keeps whistling and I What's your room number, sir? I asked him to stop and he just keeps on whistling hard. Okay, what's the what's the room number? Because I can hear him. Hey, buddy, can you please stop whistling? I got the lady on the phone. She's going to get Fuck somebody you, over here, I man. whistle. What, what's, what's the room number? Hello? It's 215. 215? We don't yes. have a 215. Well, the, I don't know exactly the room number. I don't know exactly the room number is because it's under my boyfriend's name. Okay, and you don't have anything in the room with the room number on it? I just don't want to go outside right now because he keeps whistling at me. So is that the boyfriend whistling at you or is it some random person? Hey, you want me to whistle inside of your room? Let me check this door a little bit. It, that's my boyfriend right there. I... We're both just listening to this guy whistle at us. Hey, boy. What, um, what, do you know what floor you're on? Uh, no, I, we're on the bottom. We're not on top. We're on bottom. We're bottom. Okay, um, I, I need, uh, I need a floor or, what, okay, so, What's the, um, who's the room uh, under? It's under my boyfriend's name, but okay, I don't want to give his name out because his wife, his wife sometimes listens in on the calls and she can hop in. Her name is Kat. And if he, if, sh if she finds out that he's out here with me, she's going to divorce him. Sometimes she'll be listening to the calls. She screams them. Her name's Kat. Okay. And you don't know what room or what floor you're on. I don't know. Maybe I'm just scared that cat's gonna say something. She might be listening to us right now. <sighs> okay. Um, you guys don't she have your. Uh, you guys don't have the receipt that has the room number on there. I don't. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, unfortunately, sir, there's nothing to do without a uh, what for your own or a room number. Just can't run up down hotel she floors. Can know, she can never know we're on the second floor. Don't tell her we're on the second floor. Then Cat will know for sure. Okay, I'm going to put you on a beef sir. Reno's best texting show. Oh. Cat, what the fuck? Newbie, you. Fuck you. 
three suits, mm-hmm. but I'm back. Yeah, you're, back su- you're supposed to catch us, cat. You've got to say the room number first. I got the second floor, but I need more. Let cat see your big PP. Motherfucker, it's time to go. Yeah, motherfucker, it's time to go. Motherfucker, it's time to go. Hello? I have a question for you, sir. Hello? Yeah, that too. Hi, um, why don't we ever see clowns at the zoo? I'm sorry? Why don't why don't we ever see clowns at the zoo? Did you have a question for our resort? Yeah, I don't you have clowns there? No. Oh, I was thinking this was Circus Circus. Nope, that's a different resort. Okay. Do you have any kind of silly people there that could maybe clown around and entertain us? Unfortunately, no. We're just a family hotel. Oh, so big. Oh, hotel. Can you, you put on a wig and act like a clown for us? You are being transferred to the operator. Uh-oh. More hotel? How can I help no, you? No, that's not me. Not. That's the problem. I'm going to make that's you the problem. Hi, um... Somebody's in my phone and it's calling you guys. We need to get bottom of this. I'm touching myself in your phone. Oh my god. Oh, okay. you got the is, lines crossed. Is that in your room? Like your room phone? Yes, I'm calling from the hotel room phone and and these people can hear me talking to you. You'll never find which room I'm okay. fucking you in. What is the room Hi, number I'm the telephone that you're in? lineman? Hello. I'm I'm from the telephone company. I'm outside on the pole and talking to you with my butt set and I think these two people are are making illegal spread phone it, spread calls. Spread it. Yeah, yeah. Now put it in. Put it in. Okay. Sir, what? What? Now I didn't strip. dial pull you. Strip. It only spread so wide, though. Okay. Um, guest Why of the hotel, you if you me? could come down and see us at the front desk, we can discuss this. But with everybody on the line like this, I oh, really never don't down. comfortable never discussing down. anything with you. Come down the telephone oh, call. Okay. Um, no, if you could just see me at the front desk, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect now. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. I need your help. Hello. Who is this? Up. You made a fatal Rob, faux pas. Hi, uh, there's a bunch of Hi. people in, oh. on the phone or something. I'm really confused. I've been trying to call you for the last people half hour. And people, so why like should I'm trying to call you on the phone. He, 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 he made the fatal faux pas. He made the fatal faux pas. It was a fatal faux pas. Thank you for calling the Mediterranean. How can I help you guys? Hey, lady, listen, help. He's fucking me. He's fucking me. What? Oh, yeah. Hold my Who's walker. My I'm going to... Oh, oh. Who is this? Operator? Who's on my line? Hello? I swear. I was masturbating Hello? and listening. Yes. What? You guys just hung up. Hello? You guys just hung up on me. Hello? Yes, sir. God damn it. I can't... Listen. Somebody's on my line. Listen to me, goddamn you! Listen, hell, hey! Who is this? Somebody's on my line, operator. Hey, shut up! Shut up! Book. Shut the fuck up! Shut up, you bitch! Shut up! Hey, shut up! Boy, shut the fuck up! That there telephone. Somebody keeps goddamn both of you guys. Listen, to him, operator. I don't know who this is. But you gotta tell Hello? them. So please identify yourselves. Petey, that guy's in my phone. He's in my phone. He won't get out. Hello? 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 Hotel. In the market, this is Nate. Nate, 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 there's people in my phone, and they're calling everybody. Hang up before they get to you, too. Welcome to the Paramount Hotel Seattle. This is Nick. How can I help you? Uh, Hey, this is Nick. Big Dick Nick. They're calling everybody. Nick, Hello? they're calling everyone on my phone. Who's on this line? 
Who is uh, me? I want to call the everyone on Hello, operator. my line How can I help and what you? their help underpants me, look like. There's well, there's just people on this line, and I can't get them quit. You yeah, um, to it. seems like someone just kind of looped us in on a call. I don't know who At the very is. least, this is kind of interesting. Call in here. I am oh, yeah? Very you think that's pretty the fucking phone. funny there, Master? Smart guy? A man in the phone. So, uh, <laughs> hold my own how would, how would how your would night you like a pop knot on your head the size of a grapefruit? You can pull on these nuts, boy. You sound awful cute. Your mouth looks awful pretty. Who the heck is this? Get off the line. Stretch it down. I'll kick you in the ass so hard you'll be able to wear it like a hat. What the hell? Just Sterling, come dig on me. You guys are very dirty minded. Someone leaped us into a group call that's horrifying. Thanks for calling the Hyatt Regency. It's legitimate. I'm not call limit reached. Goodbye. My diapers are in the under the masturbate horse. 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 Okay, I'll put you through to someone who can help. One moment, please. Hello? Who's on my line? Operator, please. Who is this? Hello. Yeah. Can he, can he... Thanks for I'm calling sorry. the Hyatt Regency. Your diaper is you. call limit reached. Goodbye. My diaper is full of under the masturbate horse. Drogan it. Horse. Horse. Okay, I'll put you through to someone who can help. One moment, please. Hello? Who's on my line? Operator, please. Who is this? Hello. Good, e- good evening. Thank you for calling the Hyatt no, Regency. I don't quit masturbating oh, horses unless I can help. Yeah. Hello? Somebody's yes, on I'm my here. line and I cannot get them off. Who is that? Do you long Operator? get your yacht rizzed up by Livy Dunn, the Rizzler? Skibbity toilet? You just got rizzed by Louinus. What are you guys talking about? You guys are so dirty-minded. Listen here, Shiny. If you want to pull on a whopper, you can have my poop steak. Now that's nasty. Goofy on level six business. guy at. Who is it? Operator, please help me. Somebody keeps on talking. Oh, no, no, no. Ah! no, 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 sir, no. Thanks for that. No, 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 no. No 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 the warm hole no no I don't know what a warm hole is bring me the taco how could he not know no 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 we'll show you no 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 all right, let me talk All right, family, our madhouse militia family is on a journey together. That's right. Together we can overcome all our adversity, pain, fear, and anger in this world. We're learning that laughing at our problems melts away the grief of our troubles as we find that our strength is the power of laughter, kindness, and joy. Healing all our collective souls with the magical power of laughter right here in the Madhouse Militia Show every week, Friday at 10 p.m. Right here in your earballs, Madhouse Militia is saving the world one laugh at a time. We're dropping the dimes. All we ask is you give us the time, bring a friend or better yet, bring an enemy because they're going to be welcome right here in the Madhouse. And my dear brother Carlito up there with the golden headphones in the sky inspiring us every week to more of this joy and fun and kindness and my dear brother Axel and all my family out here helping me to carry this big torch forward could not do without your big brother Axel thank you so much man this is a heavy load we bear yeah load it's time to go uh take a load off and take a big old poop and pee <laughs> yeah. Yeah. okay go shoot a load the warm off, hole there's a lady talking yes, about a warm baby. hole I have to go I have to go the warm hole. The warm hole? Oh. Oh, yeah, we love you, honey. Two places. Okay. That's it. Find <laughs> us at uh, immoralhole.com. The warm hole? Or patreon.com forward slash madhouse militia. The show is entirely funded by uh, the listeners. So uh, without the listeners, there is no show. Without the listeners, there's no phone calls, too, because everyone is invited to come and make phone calls with us every Friday night, 10 p.m. usually, or 11 p.m. tonight, but...